Today, Alexander makes and tailors custom perfumes. He's sure that our olfactory memory is infinite. For instance, he's been training his memory for many years, adding new scents to it every day. That's why he can easily distinguish all of the notes in any perfume compound. He can say how this or that perfume will open up on your skin. He's so sure of his sense of smell that he's ready to meet our program's challenges. On the table in front of Alexander, there are seven samples of natural yogurt, one of them with the original taste and smell for comparison. We added food flavors into the other six, and Alexander is to tell us which flavors. So which flavors have we added to the yogurts? Samples one, two, three, four, and six are lemon-lime, pear, peach, garden mint, and raspberry, respectively. And sample number five is tricky. We added the flavor called whiskey to it, but this smell synthesized at a laboratory. Doesn't smell like alcohol at all. It has distinctive notes of vanilla and fruit. In two yogurts out of six, our experts have added some spices as well. They added some pepper to sample number two, along with the pear flavor and sugar to sample number five. The ambiguous whiskey flavor by the way, in this task, Alexander may not only smell the yogurts, but also taste them. This reminds me of anise. Something, something cool, an herb, maybe menthol. No, I go for mint, I guess. Mint. The sample with simple citrus smell didn't prove easy for the experienced perfumer. Most likely, the problem is in the yogurt itself, as in this fermented and viscous substance, smells spread according to their own rules. Moreover, the yogurt has its own strong smell and taste, which distracts the participant from the main task. Do you understand now that this task is not as simple as it seems? That reminds me of Tutti Fruity Chewing Gum, or Barberry. It smells like lemonade from my childhood. Well, something like that. That's peach, or apricot, or nectarine, some fruit. By the way, the yogurts are good. One of the best. Mmm, <laughs> that's peppermint. I have some doubts about the first sample, but this is peppermint for sure. Though the flavor is called garden mint, the experts have taken Alexander's response. This decision is justified as peppermint is a hybrid of garden mint and winter mint. Maybe it's vanilla? You know it tastes like a curd cheese bar from my childhood. Vanilla flavor, I guess. It's amazing how quickly Alexander distinguished one of the basic notes of this tricky smell. Let's see if he manages to distinguish the last smell. Maybe it's cherry? Something like cherry? Well, the taste is not developed, in my view. I can't taste it fully. Apparently, our participant made a mistake because he forgot to use smell in this task as well. Did you notice that Alexander only tasted the six yogurts? Alexander, could you taste them all once and give us your final answer? Well, okay, maybe I'll find it. I'll start from the end, from this side this time. I think there's some cherry here. Cherry. I'd say this is vanilla. This one is mint, surely. Very good mint, fresh. peach to match the napkin in color. Maybe there are some spices? Could it be pepper? Well, maybe. Or cinnamon? Well, I feel like as if it's perfume. I'd say pink pepper. Smells spicy. Pear? No, not pear. This is pear. This is the same. Duchess or Tutti Frutti. Well, this one smells familiar. I think I come across it sometimes. Could it be lime? Lime? Yes. Yes, can I stick to this answer? 
Well, yes. With some reservation, Alexander managed to distinguish five out of six flavors and have a bite to eat at the same time. However, this isn't the end of the test. 